1980s, winning three championships. Everything's starting to fall into place. I hope you all realize this. We got Larry, one or two little moves, and we're ready to go. Our beautiful pass to four. Celtics have three seconds, two, third, a runner. It's good! Rookie, you look like you love playing this game of pro basketball. Well, it's a lot of fun because you're playing with the best guys in the, the world, so you go out every night and show what you got. I don't know if, there were, if I could ever tell you a memory. I'll just tell you that Larry was a phenomenal basketball player. The guy had unbelievable physical and mental toughness, which set him apart. I mean, that, that, that guy uh, just would play through pain. Ball is hurt. Ball is down, and he's hurt. And here comes Larry Pull-ups has refashionable sides for candy as easy as it gets. I love you, Pete, now! Wow, you get to watch all your favorite stuff. That's to die for. Streaming is not heaven this easy, you know. This is the way. Get way more into what you're into when you stream on the Xfinity 10G Network. Nothing bothered him. Unbelievable competitor. Great hands, great vision, great feel for the game. And just, you know, could go out every single night and just play at an unbelievably high level. Didn't have to shoot the ball really well to have a good game because he did so many different things. Larry, broke it to the league, broke it to the league. Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal? It's your boy, who is Hendo, and we back talking sports. You got Larry Bird, 75 stories. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, had a strong uh, first year, so I knew that I was sure there was someone that was franchise changing type talent. You know, this guy, I think he was born to pay, play basketball. Seeing him come in and, and making the adjustment early, taking a team that had won 20 games the year before, and you know, the next year, I mean, you know, they're 40 plus, and the next year they're 60, 60 plus. When Bird was at Indiana State, and the first time we really got a chance to see him play on television, uh, Indiana State played Bradley. And then, you know, fast forward, then they played DePaul. And Mark Aguirre, Terry Cummins, Teddy Grubbs on that team. And Larry Bird just, you know, he does his thing. And then, of course, they went on and they, they played Magic at Michigan State. But Bird was a, you know, again, you know. That's how they was always locked in. They played each other in the college championship Go on to the uh, NBA, save the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Go on to play on multiple NBA Finals, win multiple NBA Finals. Magic kept Bird from being the GOAT. Bird kept Magic from really being the GOAT, if you want to be real. And then that killer from Chicago said, hold my beer. And then he came in and then it wasn't nothing else to be talking about. <laughs> You know, one of the, the greatest shooters, champions, uh, competitors to ever play in our game. You now join Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain as the only players in the 40-year history of the NBA to win the league's MVP award three years in a row. I'm really proud to, to receive this award for the third time, but I really don't feel that my career is over. I think I can win it some more. Nobody, nobody worked as hard as Larry. He was the first guy there. He was the last guy to leave. He wore that body out with the jumpers and the running and the movement and the, and the concentration and the focus and the discipline and the sacrifice. He had it all. He wanted the light on him. He wanted the focus and he wanted that ball. And if it ever got to the point where Casey Jones, a coach who we just loved and would do anything for, if Casey would ever call somebody else's play, Larry would just say, no, 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 I'm, I'm shooting this ball, and, and he would. Two seconds on the shot clock, Bird wants a three, and he gets it. So close. Larry Bird satisfied now at this point in his career? As of right now, I am. I know I got a lot of work to do this summer, but uh, one thing we did this year is play hard. I get a charge when I'm telling somebody on the, on the opponents and team that I'm going to hit the last second shot and then do it. That's what it's all about. Larry's open. One, three. I remember the Portland game. It was, I think it was Super Bowl Sunday. We were playing the Portland Trailblazers. He had like 52 points or something like that. We were down three, and he's a remarkable, crazy three point shot. He was leaning, and he, he was always going to hit a shot. DJ again to make the inbound pass. The double team in Bird. Larry, fake, fall away. Hit it! All right! 
that's I didn't re, I, I didn't did a reaction to that so many times on this channel with compilations of Larry Bird shots. He's leaning, falling, this three This guy's amazing. One thing I do remember now, this is back this, is I'm making a backdoor cut, and Larry actually spun the ball like I had never dreamed of spinning the ball. He back spun the ball, bounced out in front of me. I about pulled a hamstring because I thought the damn ball was going out of bounds. It popped back up and it hit me in my hands. He just said, "You get open, I'll hit you." And I went like, "Oh, okay then." I was like. And that that I do remember, I remember thinking, I'm going to try that spin pass. I tried it once and said, I'm not doing that ever again. I'm going to get out of bounds. Off of the ball. Back to Larry Bird. To Phenomenal passer, bro. Oh, pass. Mikhail was open on that left side. Phenomenal passer. It's blocked. And Seasting hit it off of a Detroit player. No. It is, here's a disparity in the call. They're going to give the ball to Detroit. And now there's a steal by Burr. Underneath the DJ, and lays it in. Right one. one of the most clutchest plays that didn't involve scoring ever. Clutchest plays, bro, that did not involve and, um, this nigga, we, bro. We up one. You turned the ball over. Out of the huddle, and and Bird looks at me, and, and Kent Benson is guarding Bird, and Bird looks at me, and he goes, he's got no shot, and he says it right to 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 Benson as he was standing there, right, and sure enough, he gets it in on the left side of the court, takes it down to the baseline. Here's Dennis, gets it in the bird. Larry, a runner. Got it! Ball game's over, Boston wins! Straight killer. Down, they win by one. He walks off, he goes, I told you, you can't put him on me. He said, you better get somebody else who can guard me. Back it up, on read, off balance shot, but he hit it anyway. That boy is a killer. For the Boston Celtics. Bird, turn around, hit. The celebration continues. We have a very jubilant Boston Celtic team. I was a Celtic fan growing up. I'm thinking I'm going to be a Celtic, you know. And then, you know, they pick Lynn Bias, and I got to go and play against Larry and those guys. It's something I've watched my whole life. I turn around, and Larry goes, What's up, Sal? What's up, Larry? He goes, You made it. Yeah, man. He goes, You know, y'all not double teaming? I said, Nah, just me on you. He goes, For real? I go, Yeah. Yo, 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 mouse in the house, mouse in the house. And he runs down to the post and posts me up. And boom, boom, it's going, he said, it's going to be a long night, Sal. <laughs> and Larry was a John long said he was trash, bro. I don't care nobody is a... Let's talk about Larry the legend. Larry, for real. The resume is long, yeah. but he's really known for two things mostly. Shooting and talking trash on the court. Yeah. Which one bothered you the most? His shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean... His shot was just so, like, perfect, you know, and, and not only was it perfect, you know, my mother-in-law nicknamed his, his jump shot Silent Death because when he shot it, the ball just, like, rolled in the air, and it was almost like it was playing a song the way it was, like, just moving in the air, and then it would just swish through. He would never say this and about Michael Jordan. Just, and he was just, you know, as a, as a competitor, I mean, he was a killer. I mean, just a straight killer. And, you know, again, I, you've heard me mention and talk about the Celtics a lot. They taught us a lot of great lessons. You know, he definitely talked a lot of trash, but at the same time, he was backing it up. And during that period of time, you know, all of us, all of us in the summer, I don't know if there was an NBA player who didn't try to shoot or imitate Larry Bird's shot in some way, shape, or form because it was so pretty and it was just, and see, that's what they try to do with Steph Curry now. They try to emulate him. So, he was, he was, he was great. He and your BFF, Magic Johnson, yeah. will eternally be linked. What do you remember most about those battles? I was all of their finals games, you know, watching, taking notes. And, you know, the, the thing that... that, that that really stands out is not how great of basketball players they were, but how smart they were out on the floor. 
I mean, they, they very rarely made a mistake. And every time you made a That's why they don't lead the league. And that's why they don't lead the NBA in turnovers of all time like some other people. Mistake. They made you pay for it as their opponent. I mean, it was really just watching, like, you know, two great chess masters, like, you know, play the game. You know, while, while everyone else was looking at what was going on physically, the mental aspect in terms of me being a point guard, seeing how they was reading different defenses, zone, traps, whatever, and, and they was always making the correct play. So that's what stood out to me about watching them. You know, their physicality was great, but the mental intensity was off the charts. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bird. player each step I took I was able to do a little bit more than the other guys I had a green light I can make plays but I always knew early on especially when I was a junior senior high school that probably the outcome of the game was going to depend on me so you always had to have a competitive edge you always had to do more than the other guys not only on the game time but especially in the practice do a little bit more after practice Straight killer bro practice to uh, the greatest basketball player ever but more important a friend forever. I'm going to miss this life. This is great. I've been on a high for 17 years. That's Larry.